Hi, my name is Stuart, and today we're going to be looking at the peripheral pump and the flow control, the wiring connection specifically, and one or two troubleshoots. Uh, just off the bat, make sure that when you're doing this, a qualified electrician is certifying all the work. So in the box, you have a uh, GPM60, you've got your cap for your control unit. You have three wires. Now, I just want to say those, these three wires, remove them. And uh, what you will do then is you'll have those three wires. Discard those wires because you do not want to use them. You don't want to connect anything to it. And then what you do is you find yourself getting a little uh, connector with lugs on them. That's the best way to do it. And uh, then you can connect your earth, neutral, and um, live bring it through and then we connect it to our flow control and our flow control cover as well uh, we'll see that on, on uh, flow control you've got one inlet from your pump and one outlet to your power source and we'll have a look at how to connect those two. So once you've attached your flow control to your GPM60 uh, obviously that's going to be done with uh, PTFE tape again make sure that it's done correctly a good plumber will know how to do that uh, take off your cover of your flow control uh, so you would first put the wires in on your GPM 60 so here we go you'll see that the uh, connector wires have come out of your your cap you'll put the cap on once this is is connected then you'll take the other end the bottom one says pump you'll bring the wires in through and then connect them you got your live neutral and earth connected at the bottom and then at the top, you've got your uh, power source going out, live, neutral, and earth, and that obviously is connected to your power end. Again, using lugs, don't just use the wire end. It just makes for good connection on your, uh, your pump and your control unit. Uh, once you've done that, then obviously you put this back. It's got a little seal unit. Make sure that that's in place. You pop that back on, and then you're good to go. Some of the boxes, your little dial will be separate. You just plug it in, two screws to connect those two in, and then you've got your pressure valve or your pressure dial that'll show you exactly what pressure this operates in, and then you're good to go. Connect your water uh, as indicated in the manual. If you do have a problem for some reason, because especially the little GPM60s, they normally kick in and out and sometimes stay for a little while if they're coming from a Jojo tank or a rotor tank. Uh, what we suggest you do then is you, um, you find yourself saying, hey, this thing's sticking, it's not kicking in. I would just take a flat screwdriver, put in the one end, obviously the other end where the motor comes. And if you find it's jammed a little bit, you actually use it and you can open it because sometimes just from sitting the water, a little bit of debris, that can lock up. And if it hasn't been used for a couple of weeks, sometimes even months, that would work. Uh, and uh, you can actually loosen it, which is really great.